guys and welcome to the 53rd video here on my channel on YouTube. This video will be mainly about uh, gear, gear upgrades that I uh, bought while I was in the States. But first, uh, I got criticized for uh, the last two videos, basically telling me that they were not vlogs, they were just uh, recorded events and so where was where was the you in the, in the video log? And yes, uh, I have to admit that that set and I still have to think about it. I, I really do like to uh, record events that I go to simply because I just enjoy going to the events uh, but uh, I do understand that it's probably not. I need to make sure that uh, there is actually more more of me in the vlogs if I want to continue to co consider them vlogs. And um, yeah, for, the, for the foreseeable future I would like to continue to do vlogs. Uh, as a log of my life, uh, there's so many changes, so much movement. Uh, as you can see from the setting, I'm, I'm still in, in the States. It's probably the last video of the travel series and I might uh, either edit it here in the States and upload before I fly or upload it afterwards. But most likely there will not be any flight scenes at the end. So, long story short, let's go and visit past Chris and uh, see what he did uh, at KC Neistat's headquarters. I didn't realize that uh, Broadway was actually a one-way street turn here, but it is, and uh, you could kind of imagine Casey going by on a uh, booster board all the time right away, but uh, yeah, it is a one-way street going right up one of the electric bikes. This is it, 368 Broadway in New York. Um, it's probably the most expensive fangirling thing I've ever done. Parking is so enorm enormously expensive around here. But it's beautiful, I'm just, uh, here I can see uh, the office with my own eyes, so it's nobody there and I would not never think of going in and then pestering the guys, but still, it is something very, very special and it's uh, kind of the heart and the ground zero of, of the blogging or the creator movement. So one of the questions I've asked myself quite a lot in the last couple of months is uh, am, are you actually cool enough to be a, to be a blogger? Um, like, well, I'm almost 60, so... But um, the conclusion I came to is like, well, I am. It's probably I'm good enough uh, and I really enjoy doing it. So, yeah, why not? And uh, it's like Cody always says, there are no small creators, and I just love creating. I never found a way to do it before, but uh, with video and uh, photography, that is uh, probably for the next couple of years, uh, my way to create and to share. So, yeah, I'm enormously giddy to be here, and uh, speak soon. Great trip. In years, I can be a fanboy from time to time. So, let's uh, go to the subject. Uh, that's also the title, Gear Does Matter, and uh, let me show you the gear that I've acquired here in the States. Let's have a look at my current setup first. Up until now, I had been uh, filming video logs mainly with the uh, camcorder and uh, using a setup, impromptu setup like this. It's basically a chair, a light, and a desk to put everything on. Uh, the device basically is a simple uh, JVC camcorder, an EVOR. I'm quite happy with it in terms of uh, capturing events. Uh, there's a very good zoom lens, has zoom audio, so if you're in an environment where you have a good ambient sound and good lighting, it's actually a very good camera to shoot HD. It keeps failing me if uh, the light is low or if the sound is, uh, it's not like in a concert, good mix, but uh, a lot of background noise. Since there is uh, no jack input, you have to start recording audio externally. To record audio externally, I use a, a simple uh, Sony uh, recorder with a lavalier mic microphone. Improves sound quality really dramatic, but it gives you the additional task later on to synchronize audio and video. And uh, then after you spend like one or two hours on Audacity to get all the ums and ahs out of the video, out of the audio, then you kind of realize, oh, now that you cut the audio, it won't sync anymore. Yeah, there's there's interesting things to consider when you uh, 
different sources for audio and video. That one is one is synchronization, but also different cutting and different editing. Uh, it is a challenge, not impossible, but a challenge. After listening to everybody talking about their Canon gear and Rode microphones, I finally started to succumb and says, okay, let's go, let's get a Canon and let's uh, get a Rode microphone. Um, I went out to B&H Photography and got uh, a Canon EOS M3, that is a 2017 model from the use department and uh, I used a uh, fixed lens. I, I love fixed lenses uh, from my days when I did photography and uh, the uh, small Rode microphone. All in all, it was a bit more expensive than uh, the um, than the camcorder was. Um, it did set me back for about 350 euros. Um, and I'm so far quite happy with it. I haven't done much because that was just too short uh, a time. So, but definitely a big improvement in low light performance and uh, big improvement in stabilization and autofocus, so yes. Now we are on the new camera, uh, no external lighting, which makes the filming much easier. And uh, I still do need to fix the problem with the microphone and the screen. It looks kind of funny uh, having the screen um, hidden behind me, but uh, hidden. Well, I'm talking about hidden behind the microphone, but there are a number of contraptions on the market to deal with that. I'm quite happy with the new gear. Uh, I hope it will make uh, walking around uh, easier. It's uh, a little bit more compact and also at arm's length I can actually talk to the camera and have a wide enough angle in, in the video. Before I, I close the vlog, uh, so where am I? Have I been in the States for for almost a, a week, actually a bit more than a week uh, now, doing mainly uh, shopping, a uh, bit of events, going out to events. So you saw the last two uh, two videos from uh, Royal and uh, from Playlist Live. When shopping, I went uh, out for dinner, met with people. So all in all, a very restful, rest, very restful time, um, which is good because uh, next week when I come home, the university is going to start. First, uh, slowly, but in the uh, Teachings will start in earnest mid October, so I'm quite excited. Uh, this will then so, sort of finalize uh, my journey from being a full time salary man to a uh, freelance student and, and creator. So, yeah, there's still a lot of things that I need to learn and do and, and, and play with, but I'm actually very happy where I'm right now. And uh, yeah, let's see what. Uh, the new equipment brings, let's see uh, what the next month brings. I'm totally excited and totally giddy and uh, yeah, and I will definitely take you on the way. Like I said earlier in the movie, uh, I need to figure out is this really a vlog or is this uh, events or to do a, a loose series. Anyhow, I, one thing I know for certain is that I don't want to miss it uh, anymore in the future. So, long, long story short. Thanks a lot for watching, uh, thanks a lot for staying with me and if you did like uh, the movie please uh, do leave a like, subscribe and comment and uh, especially a comment, uh, uh, like everybody else I really depend on, on criticism to, to improve and then do better videos in the future and uh, having said this, see you in the next time.